So the first thing you want to do when it comes to tire patch, you want to make sure you have all your equipment you want, you're going to need. You're going to have your vulcanizing cement, your bead sealer, your roller, your patch, lighter, buffer, and some kind of pliers to take out the nail or screw that's in the tire. The next thing you're going to do is when you come up to your tire, normally, for obvious, for training reasons, this one's obvious, but normally you're not going to see that. You're going to take your bottle of soap and water, you're going to spray down the tire until you find bubbles that start forming. Once you find that, you're going to take your tire chalk and put a mark around the hole. So that way when you take the nail out, you don't lose it. Next thing you're going to do, same thing with your tire chalk, you can come find your valve stem and you're going to mark the valve stem on the tire so that way when you remount it you line these two back up you don't have to balance the tire once you do that go ahead and take the valve core out and let all the air out of the valve all right now that all the air is out break the tire tire off keep in mind where your outside hole is spin it around where you can see the inside see the inside you see the screw sticking out take your tire chalk mark it once you got the inside of the tire marked go ahead and get your pliers and take out the bolt screw piece of metal whatever have you in the tire those things in there Then you're going to take your buffing wheel and rough up the area around the hole. So you want to make sure that the area you buffed is slightly bigger than where your patch is going to sit. Once you get it all buffed nice and good, you're going to take your cement or vulcanizing cement and give you a nice good coat all around the hole. Once again, making it slightly bigger than what the size of the patch. Should be fine. Next, take your lighter, light it on fire. The part here is to let the fire burn itself out. Once the fire burns itself out, put the patch over the hole. So center the patch on the hole, take your roller. How we do it, we do one pass vertical pass horizontally kind of with like a light to medium pressure oh, jumped. 
And then what I like to do to ensure that it's good, I do one more pass like this, putting a good amount of pressure onto the patch to ensure that I get a good seal. This part you don't necessarily have to do, but I think it's a good idea. Put a little bit of layer of bead sealer or some kind of sealant around the edges of the patch and over the patch just to give it that little bit of extra seal. After you finish with that, you go ahead and remount the top. Since our mark of the valve stem is fairly close to where the valve stem is, it doesn't have to be exact, but it needs to be close. It means I'm not going to rebalance this tire. You throw it in back up. Oh, here, you can get it from back here, Alex. To the bottom one. It is. In our case, it's right there. And double check that it is sealed. Or video. The camera's a lot clearer on the video.